Hey guys, it's Sam from The Learning Studio here. I'm going to run you through the solution of our first problem. So the first problem we have asks you to calculate the area of this rectangle. Uh, and at first glance, it kind of looks like that's impossible. Um, so normally when you calculate the area of a rectangle, you need the length and the width. Um, and all you have at the moment is the length. Right? So we know that the length here is 25. but we don't know this width. And so that's sort of the key thing we need to work out. So the reason that we are able to calculate this width is because we have these three right angle triangles. Um, and what's kind of special about these right angle triangles is that they're actually similar triangles. All right, so we don't know any of the angles at the moment. Um, but if we call this angle, say, alpha, then the other angle up here is 90 minus alpha. Now we can work out some of the other angles um, using basic geometry. So for example, the Z rule here tells us that this angle is also alpha, um, which means this angle here is again 90 minus alpha. And so then the Z rule again tells us that this angle here is 90 minus alpha. And so this angle up here must also be alpha. All right, and so because these three triangles have exactly the same angles in them, they must be similar. Um, all right, which tells us that um, sort of this green side here should match with this side here and this red side here should match up with this red side here. And so now we can get an equation to link um, the height to the two distances that we know. All right, so we're gonna have the W over nine should be equal to 16 over W. Okay, and so we can rearrange that. That tells us that W squared is 16 times nine which is 144. Okay, and so W must be the square root of that, which is 12. All right, so now we know our width. Um, we can work out the area. So our length was 25, and our width is 12. And so multiplying those together, we get that the area is 300.